guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. This must be hard for you, too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. But shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her.
Maybe that nightlight could get Rachel's attention. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all con- The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family? I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. At least she'll have something from tonight. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Maybe that nightlight could get Rachel's attention. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Check it out. It's... 
beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone.
stand still stare at my stupid bedroom all that i wanted was an unwanted oh and i wonder why i'm not wanted all that i wanted was not there but
in a corridor Yeah And you call me Yeah When I see you You, you know damn well
the fact that she's here right now? That she came here? For me? I think I need to see her? Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, how do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real to us. Right? Right. stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories.
Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Touche. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic, floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever, I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Eager much?
I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Sorry, Ward. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Ah, uh, better than nothing. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Stan Stanwick here, bringing you up to the minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The Seder. Please welcome Sergeant Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Unfortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. All kinds of people get involved. Rich, poor, teens, adults. So it can spread to any community. Does the ABPD have any leads on where the heroin's coming from? I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district Still attorney's office. Still can't fucking it's believe that David right went on. through my Thanks stuff. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you.
is mom playing music? Hmm. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably... No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. Gross. hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it.
All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. He sold her ring? I remember this. Mom loved it. Uh, can I just... Shit. David really is moving in. Sports cars are really good for... Flames. Lots of flames. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? I wonder who gave this to Mom. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. I... Uh, I didn't get you anything. Having you back home is present enough. I'm just here to pick up something. Then I... Uh, I have to go. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I... 
I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made an agreement with your mother to trust you from now on. <laughs> Really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. So if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. <sighs> David's lying to your face, Mom. He searched my room. You gave up any right to privacy when Chloe, you... I asked David to help me yesterday, and he only did what he thought was best. You knew? You knew that David went through all of my... That was before I talked to him and explained why I disagreed with that method. But Chloe, if I'd been able to trust you in the first place... I'm done with this. Chloe, stop. I know why you're acting this way. And I know you're going to regret it. Come here. Take a look at this. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. <laughs> 